JMC 6000 here, here on the my local GMC dealership with the brand new 2024 Hummer EV electric truck. Now, what I wanted to do in this video is this first time I've ever experienced this electric truck. Never ever experienced one before. Um, I yet to drive the Cybertruck, which will be coming soon in a future video, but I wanted to bring this to you. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around. And let me give you all of what the Hummer has to offer. Uh, let me wind it out. Look at that thing. The Hummer EV electric truck. This is the 3X model. So it has three motors, as you can tell right there. Hummer EV. Let's look at the uh, window sticker real quick. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little bit of a glare. But this thing prices for right about $107,000, $108,000. Oh my goodness, so expensive, but this is all. I love how big these tires are. It really gives a, a nice stance to the truck. These things are 22s, 305, 55, R22, Goodyear Wrangler tires. The rims look absolutely impressive. You can see the massive air shocks and suspension right there. Not only in the front, but also in the back. You can see that right there. I'm at the dealership here. This is the back end. Let's lower this. So sorry for the background noise. It actually has a decent sized bed. As long as you don't put a lot of stuff in here, it actually has a decent sized bed. Plenty of storage. Go walk around here. Comes with these running boards. And yeah. So I wanted to get this nice caption video. These are pretty cool. Look at these massive tow hooks. I mean, yeah, give it some. It's <laughs> anyway, pretty pretty impressive, this thing. Uh, charge door is right back here. Oh, there we go. Your regular uh, plug there. They haven't gone to the new uh, North American Standard plug yet. Let's go inside. Uh, let's go ahead and go in the back real quick. Show you the room that I have. In the back here. All right, this is the room in the back. What's cool about this Hummer is the removable panels. I have to admit, I had a Camaro back in the day that had T-tops, and this is like T-tops times four. I love the idea of removable panels. What we have back here, we have our own climate control back here. Uh, we have heated seats, auto mode, um, and everything else. We also have a nice little cup holder. There are some other things that I wanted to kind of question about this thing, but um, the room back here is just like any full-size pickup. It actually has pretty good amount of room back here. Uh, the seat quality is not too bad. There's some other things that I'm going to talk about as soon as I get up front, but back here is not too bad here in the Hummer EV. Let's go ahead and go up front and let's kind of dive into this just a little bit more. Oh no, the child lock's on. I am stuck in the back. How could this be? Oh no. Okay, you know what? I'm going to hobble myself up front. Bear with me. All right, I made it up front. <laughs> Good thing I didn't catch that on camera. All right, awesome. Here we are in the front of the Hummer EV. Now, what I want to do is kind of go over the quality and what you actually get for a hundred and almost a hundred and eight thousand dollars in this tri motor Hummer EV. Let's go over the interior quality, but I think as you look at things at first glance, things look well built. I mean, you look at the, the quality of the dash, everything else about this. I mean. All the switch gear looks nice. You know, the, the power locks, the windows. A lot of this is just standard pure GM fare with the window switches, the door locks, all that. Um, it does have Super Cruise. And you can see this beautiful screen right here. I will say the screens are nicely integrated. They are very beautiful to look at. These are all buttons that you can press to interact with your HVAC. You know, uh, you can turn on the AC different things of that nature. Um, the, the glove box right down here, you know, kind of small, but but there's a lot of hard plastic in here. So let's go over my likes and dislikes about the Hummer EV. And um, 
first off, I will say this. The Hummer EV is a very unique rig. I think it's a pinnacle of GM technology, of GM quality. Um, not a big fan of the three wipers. But you do get a digital rear view camera, which is pretty cool. So this, let's go over some things that I like about the Hummer EV. And some things that I don't like and some things that are just unexcusable for the price. Number one thing that I like about the Hummer EV is just the exclusive the exclusivity this anyway it's very exclusive i mean people talk about the cyber truck being exclusive if you're driving around a hummer ev truck you're you're pretty exclusive i think this is more special than the cyber truck just saying more special than the cyber truck so that's number one is it's a very exclusive vehicle and i think for the price this is actually worth it more than what you pay for the cyber truck and i think it's a better vehicle better built vehicle than the cyber truck anyway uh, number two uh, has to be the technology. This is loaded with GM's latest and greatest of technology. I love the, the screen in here. I forget what size it is. It looks like about 15 inches maybe. Or maybe it's about 13 inch screen. But anyway, the technology is cool. This has uh, GM's latest and greatest uh, Android or um, Android operating system uh, based, Google based information uh, infotainment. And not only does this screen match this screen, which is your basic information screen, gives you know distance, miles, all kinds of stuff. It it you know how much you're using at the time, compass. You can change different things. I believe maybe I'm not sure. Oh look at that! You can change different things, which is pretty cool. You can change what was decided upon in the left. You can do time and temperature if you wanted to. Look at that! I tire pressure pitch and roll so some cool things to change um and uh anyway you can go through some some different settings we're going to get out of that but so the technology in here is is pretty sweet pretty nice i like how there's hard buttons in here the um everything feels kind of kind of solidly built versus like a cyber truck but everything is very easy falls to the touch um, if you know anything about newer General Motors products, this will feel very familiar in this Hummer EV. And then the final thing that I like about the Hummer EV um, has to be kind of the way it looks. I mean, I, I don't know how else to put it. I kind of like how it looks. It looks pretty cool. I like the wheels. I like the tires. I mean, the 22s are big, but they make this vehicle not look small. It makes it look massive as it is. And I really do kind of like that. Now, is this going to be energy efficient? No. Oh, dear Lord, no. It's the epitome of flashy, in your face, everything else. But um, anyway, we go over some things that I don't like about this Hummer EV. And then some things that are absolutely atrocious. Number one thing that I don't like about this Hummer EV um, has to be uh, the usability of it. It's, And what I mean by that is... It's not very practical as an as a truck. I mean, yes, you can put some payload. In fact, we're going to look at the payload. But uh, there are some things that it's it's not very usable. You got a smaller bed, and there's no mid gate. Man, if I'm going to have a truck like this, like the like the Silverado EV, and I want a mid gate, where's my mid gate, GM? The Hummer EV should have a mid gate, but it doesn't. So that's number one. I, I want some better usability i do like the front though we'll have to go and look at that front but i do like the front number two thing uh that is kind of a miss with the hummer ev um has to be uh some of the integration of different things and what i mean by that is there's some nice things on one end but yet there's some misses on the other end and, and and things could be better integrated like this screen could be better integrated this screen is as nice it is I shouldn't see that right here. It, what, what in the world? It should be better integrated. Things just look like they, they're just stuck on there um, and, and everything else. These these handles, I mean, they seem beefy, but I think they could be better integrated. I'm just like, come on, GM. Th th let's get some better integration. Uh, the shifter is just annoying. Uh, oh, my God. And uh, anyway, that's probably my, my third dislike is just this annoying electronic shifter. But, of course, every EV has that every ev wants to do that and the driving dynamics of this thing are absolutely horrible it drives the way it looks big ofi and just it takes up the road it just it drives atrocious it you know it you know it, yes it's fast 
it's it's monstrous, but it, it just it has horrible driving dynamics. Anyway, and then let me I've never done this before, but let me kind of give you some things that are atrocious to me for the price point. So at $107,000, I expect luxury. And don't get me wrong, the seats are comfortable, they're heated and cooled, you got the rear view camera, I get it, I understand that, but what I don't understand is on the sides of the seats and this gray material, you hear that? It's not only on the seats, but it's on the door panel. And it's on this center armrest. I don't know what this thing is, but it's the most roughest, scratchiest, cheapest vinyl I've ever came across in a vehicle. I'd expect this in maybe like a thirty or forty thousand dollar vehicle, not in a vehicle that cost a hundred and seven thousand dollars. Come on, GM, you got to do better with your interiors. This is atrocious. This is atrocious. It's on the door. It's a, it's up here. It's a tr it's on the dash. Who cares about the dash? I get it. But where my elbows rest, I mean, it feels rough. It feels abrasive. Like I want smooth leather. I don't want this atrocious nonsense. Uh, the Denali Silverado, or I'm sorry, the Denali Sierra, whether it be the Yukon Denali or the Sierra Denali, has a better interior uh, quality-wise and the way it feels versus this Hummer EV. And the Hummer EV is more expensive. I don't get it. Now, the steering wheel is nice. It does have Super Cruise. That's another like. I like the idea of Super Cruise. Super Cruise is cool. But it's like, come on. That is atrocious, GM, for the price. That's atrocious. And then you got some some other stuff that's just hard plastic all over the place. Uh, on the dash. I mean, it's like, GM, come on. For the money you're paying, I want better quality products, better quality plastics, better quality where your elbows and arms are going to rest instead of this scratchy feeling cheapness. Oh, it just bugs the living daylights out of me. Whereas in the Cybertruck, you actually get coddled in really high quality um, plastics and, and leather and everything else. You just don't feel that in the Hummer. Yes, it's very exclusive. Yes, it does look better than the Cybertruck, but I think the interior of the Cybertruck, as far as maybe not functionality, but maybe the, the way it feels, actually feels better than this thing does. Now, I love the T-tops. I love these removable panels. Again, they remind me of the T tops I had in my Camaro all the way back when I had a, a 2002 Camaro that was a 35th anniversary, black on black T top. Anyway, but um, it just the quality of interior for the price is really just mind boggling. I, I don't expect this cheap interior for the price you're paying. It's like GM, you got to do better. Anyway, that's just atrocious, and the way it drives is kind of atrocious. It really does. Having <laughs> Because of the way the window looks and, and I would, you know, just how there's not much visibility here. Look at this. I can almost do my hand with how much visibility. I don't have a big hand. There's not much forward visibility and the three wipers are just <laughs> annoying. But I guess it's bigger than the mono wiper on the Cybertruck. So we, it's a give and take there. Anyway, let me know your thoughts or comments. Maybe you've seen the Hummer EV. Maybe you want to comment on how it feels. Um, again... Uh, I was hoping for something a little bit more better, but, um, and, and it drives okay. I just, I, I was expecting more for the price. Awesome. This has been JM. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I upload every single Wednesday morning and every single Saturday afternoon with James Seeker Watch Talk. You guys be blessed and we'll catch you on the next one.